Uh, my name is Mark Chisel. I'm the author of uh, Spanish Castle to White Knight, a book about the Volvo Ocean Race 2008-2009. I came into this as a navigator. I raced America's Cup boats and won a couple of world championships. And I've been writing novels and uh, other stories, other books, uh, Risk to Gain, a book about the 97-98 uh, Whitbread race. And they asked me to come back again and do another book about the Volvo, now it's the Volvo Ocean Race. So I signed up to do this book back in uh, 2008. I worked on the website, the volvooceanrace.com.org, and wrote a thing called the Tenzulu, a daily website report for the Volvo race. <laughs> Traveled with the race for 10 months and interviewed a group of guys about uh, their experiences on this race. And the idea was to really get down and make a book, a, a book that was a little bit different to the normal race books. It was less about the race, a little more about the human adventure, um, the individuals that do it, how they came to be doing the race, and some of the experiences they had on the way around. So it's a combination of action, of drama, the sailing, how the, the sailing works, how people win, how people lose, the, the breakages, the injuries, and the guys that do it and the stuff that they go through. Okay, so it's written chronologically. Um, it starts with the chapters, Spanish Castle, the title, Spanish Castle to White Knight. That's the title on the English version, which we're selling here in the Earl's Court Boat Show. But in Scandinavia, it's known as High Seas, High Stakes. And it has a slightly different cover with the Ericsson boat on the cover. Um, so different title, different cover, but same book essentially, just with more information about the Ericsson, Team Ericsson, and their win of the Volvo Ocean Race 2008-09. Inside, um, it's a chronological book, so it starts Spanish Castle uh, with leg one and the adventures and experience of the, of the sailors and lots of fantastic photos. I think the big difference with this race was for the first time they put a media crew member on each boat. So it's an individual who was there just to take pictures, just to take video, just to write blogs about their experiences on the race. So we have a mix of pictures from all eight of the competing boats. Stunt guys with a little bit different eye, you can see the, the mix of colors and the different kinds of images that were produced. This one's a helicopter shot from one of the official photographers that followed the race round. That's Puma going at about 35 knots away from the start line in Alicante back in October 2008. Running repairs, this is a chapter going from Cape Town, leaving Cape Town, heading into the Southern Ocean briefly before turning up north to India. And this is a story of Puma's breakdowns in, on Lake Two and their attempts to fix them. Uh, they almost didn't make it out of the Southern Ocean at one point. And it goes through each chapter, one chapter pretty much per leg until we get to the back end of the race when the legs are very short. Real life, the, one of the guys had a really bad experience, Roger Nielsen, a very well-known Scandinavian um, navigator, also a doctor, a really interesting guy with an amazing life story, but he uh, was at an uh, Indian festival just before the start of this lake and left Cochin and went to Qingdao. And he was on the roof of a temple and the temple collapsed, killing um, dozens of people. And because it was a very remote area, there was no hospital, no ambulance, no police, no one to help. He had this extraordinarily, you know, this really tragic experience. A week later, he was back on the boat trying to race to Cochin and he had a lot of trouble getting his head around that idea, really. Uh, again, it's all here in the book because it's very much a book about humans, about the individual, about the experiences of the race.